Okay, today, grease blocks. Can they be used for an air gun backstop? You're probably thinking, it's a brick. Of course it can. Well, no. This, I mean, it's heavy, but it's light. This is just, there's not much to these. These are the light version, grease block version. I've got some of the heavier ones down here. They're the solid concrete ones, really tough. They'll work, no problem. But grease blocks are cheaper, easier to get hold of. And generally, I find a lot of people just get rid of them. And they used to be used more for building in the past rather than now, so people doing alterations seem to be getting given away for nothing. Now, of course, you all know my shooting range, but do you know what's behind there? My plan is to just build a brick wall completely up, higher than that, and above the roof slightly. So this is behind there right now. Here's the sheet. Massive pile of soil. Now the soil when I started was straight up here. It's obviously soil started going down. I've got loads of wood, two fridge doors. It, it covers everything. It covers everything that can possibly, nothing can leave, nothing can go past here. I've tried everything to get through these, won't work. But it's just a mess. So I want to build a nice straight wall up here Straight across, down, nice and neat, perfect. But I want to do it cheap. So will this work? Now, of course, this is a UK test, so everything is sub 12 foot pound. Nothing's crazy. None of you guys get big Zeus's, they'll just go straight for it. Right, got a pistol, BB gun, only start at five yards. Come and load with these, because obviously we don't just want to do a couple of shots. We need to know if it's going to last long term. So we're going to pound it with these, get the air rifles out. Hope this works. I'm sure it will. Obviously we're using the weak power first. Oh well. That's actually made a bit of a dent there, isn't it? Right, we'll stick with this for now. We'll do three or four more magazines and we'll just pummel the same spot. See what happens. And then we'll get, we're going to use a Hatan flash today. 2-2, two, two, we're going to go for. Love the way this goes together. Obviously, if it was a new gas. What's that, three magazines? Three magazines is enough. It's about 30 odd, 35 shots. Let's have a look. Yeah, a few stuck in there. There is a little bit of a hole there. That's going to take a long time to get through there. Done a bit of damage. Then we'll just move it straight up to the air rifles. Right. But we're not going to go maximum range either. We're going to go 10 metres. So that way they're it even harder than it would be normally. Okay, here we go. Hats on a flash 101. This particular gun is not very accurate, so I can't aim for the same spot every time. But I'm going to try. Oh, <laughs> that hit where I was aiming. Like and subscribe. Please. Who is doing damage? Definitely doing damage. You can tell I'm only 10 meters away, this gun. Accuracy is awesome. Should have done this for the can challenge. Same again. Right, 24 shot. Let's have a look. Oh, it's about an inch. It's about an inch in there. Hmm. What do I think? Of course, the chances of that many shots hitting in the same spot 
That could take months or years to happen if there's actually the whole wall down there. Look at these hollow points, by the way. I'm going to do one more magazine, so that'll be 30 shots ish with the BB gun on that spot. And that'll be 36 shots with this on the same spot. Do that, we'll check it out. The chances of that happening, oh, it'll take, it will happen. It'll just take a long time to get to that point. I mean, how many times are you going to miss and hit the same millimeter spot? But we'll do that. And then we're going to move the brick back to the normal distance. And I'll do a time lapse because I'm going to pummel it with a different rifle. Okay, one more. Same spot. Let's have a look. Oh, it's definitely right in there. I would say it's nearly halfway, somewhere around about here. At the full distance now. I'm going to randomly pummel it. Right, I'm almost out of gas, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one more magazine, randomly pummel it, and then I'm going to go get my Umarex out. With the Umarex, I'm just going to get myself a cup of coffee. I'll turn the cameras off. And then I'll come back on, show you the result. I think it's working already. I'm going to use it. I'm going to, I'm going to make the wall out of it. There's the size of it, it'll, it'll last years. Even if it only lasts a few months, mix a bit of sand cement up and fill the hole. So, so far, if you want it up, done, perfect, finished, never have to main, maintain it, it fails. For a general backstop, it'll do you quite a while. I think it works. Right, I'm going to stop recording now. And I'm going to pull it in front of that 20 minutes and make myself all over. Pepper the whole thing. Okay, results have in. Just use the Umex 850. I only shot it 40 or 50 times, so it's, the gas is really out. I'm not, it takes 88 gram CO2s. I'm not putting a new one in, just shoot a brick. I'm saying it's passed. It's about, it's nearly, nearly halfway through the brick. That took, it was 48 powerful shots from a, a, a 2 2 rifle, plus all the BB shots, all on the same spot. That would take, and that's if you miss the targets you're going for as well. That would take months and months and months for that to happen. Unless you're using it, unless it's an actual shooting range where there's multiple people doing it every day. A home range, that passes. Might need a bit of maintenance after a few months. But yeah, these blocks, nice and cheap. Good plan. Right. One more thing, I'm going to do what the big boy YouTubers do, right? By the link here, a video, like they actually tell you the video, they won't just link it. In case you're new here, or you've, you're newish here, you've only been here for a few months, check this out. It's one of my first videos, it's swearing in it, no editing in it, it's terrible. But the video itself is brilliant, and it was still one of my best ones yet. You have to have a look, big boy YouTuber moment. Thank you.